Okay, this is going to be a short lecture video of the Bill Clinton administration. So over here you got Bill Clinton, right? Or you might see him as William Jefferson Clinton. Um, Bill is like his name for short. That's a nickname for William. Uh, over here is going to be his vice president, Al Gore. Now you're going to notice up here on the right, and we talked about this last time, uh, that George H.W. Bush was running for his second term, and Bill Clinton is going to be running for his first term. Right? against him and then this guy over here is going to be named ross perot uh ross perot was the uh, independent candidate that ran against it and he's actually to date one of the uh strongest independent candidates that uh has ever ran for office he he actually got quite a bit of votes um more than anybody ever had before that for a third party so anyway in uh the election in uh, 1992 um bill clinton is going to defeat george hw bush and he's going to take over in office. And you're going to notice it's going to be a staggering uh, victory here. Um, well, we don't have the Electoral College up here, but he beats him uh, pretty bad. Oh, here it is. So 370 electoral votes to 168. So it is a landslide victory. And one of the major reasons for that was because people did not feel that George H.W. Bush was going to be um, good for the economy because they had entered into a small recession and he had not given a, a good laid out plan uh, of how he was going to change that or how he was going to fix the economy. Whereas Bill Clinton made all these promises to change it and um, laid out a solid plat platform or plan that he was going to do. And so this really was his big thing. He targeted the economy and uh, ran on that platform. So we're going to just talk about basically his policies that he enacted when he was president. So um, the first one you're going to hear about, and actually this was in the news uh, recently quite a bit, is NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement. And this is a, uh, an agreement uh, which basically removed all trade barriers or any tariffs between the United States, Canada, and Mexico. So uh, for the first time, we were not charging Mexico to send products in, and they were not charging us to send products to them. And um, what this did was it opened up a lot of room and talks for uh, Americans to start businesses down in Mexico or build factories in Mexico, which were it was a lot cheaper to create products. Um, it also opened the door to many um, new trading uh, abilities for the uh, for the different companies that are in America and for the farmers in America. So. Basically, agriculture boomed in America because they were able to trade down into Mexico and into Canada as well. So they were selling and creating products for them. And if you look here, you can just go through and look. So under the in 20 years, basically, um, our exports, which means that we are shipping products out, tripled for the amounts that were going to Canada and quintupled for the amounts that were going to Mexico. So they were one of our number one buyers. So this is big. It basically created a lot more trade opportunity for the United States. Another thing that's going to change is basically he said that um, when he was running for office that he was going to free up some money. And, um, and one of the big ways he was going to do that was by reshaping the welfare system in the United States. He had claimed that many people were on welfare and that it was becoming a, a process where it was very difficult for people to get off of welfare. And he said people shouldn't have to sit on welfare for extended periods of time. This should be a program that is there to assist people and help people get back on their feet. Uh, and so he wanted to push that agenda. And so he created the personal, this is a, this is a long one here, the Personal Responsibility and Work Opportunity Reconciliation Act of 1996. So, um, Basically, in short, what this did was it took a lot of the responsibility of the welfare system off of the federal government and put it into the state's hands, which freed up a lot of money for the United States uh, federal government. And through that, he created more opportunities um, by making more or creating more jobs and changed the program so that it was more helpful for people to get off of welfare and into a job. Um, and that's what he did there. And um, it drastically reformed the welfare system as we know it, which was basically the same since it was kind of created um, around, like, let's say the FDR time period. So for since the 1930s, basically until the 1990s, 
you hadn't seen much change until Bill Clinton. A couple of other big policy changes that happened is um, during the Reagan administration, uh, Reagan set sanctions, economic sanctions on South Africa. Um, and this was a way to kind of punish South Africa because they were um, basically doing their own version of segregation, uh, which was called apartheid. And apartheid is basically when you had the blacks and whites separated in uh, South Africa. And so to try to get them to change this and to um, lift apartheid, Reagan, he said, basically, we're not going to trade with you anymore or we're going to um, make uh, like penalties, economic penalties on South Africa. So after apartheid ended, um, Bill Clinton now had said, OK, now it's time that we are going to lift those. And so you see him over in the picture here with Nelson Mandela. And this is basically creating new. Um, you know, just lifting those sanctions and creating better ties with South Africa. Um, and then the last thing we're going to talk about down here is going to be um, that he is going to restore our diplomatic relations with Vietnam. So remember, after Vietnam, we basically left Vietnam and we said, OK, like once it turned communist, um, we were like, we're done with it. We are not even going to recognize it. Um, we're no longer trading with them. And um, you know, years had passed now, and so Bill Clinton says, "I'm going. We're going to re uh, restore our relationships and kind of fix our friendship and relations with Vietnam." Um, and so he goes over there, and you'll see it over here. Goes over and visits, and the whole reason for this is um, the human rights thing, which was a big initiative during the 1990s, um, human rights in other countries, and trying to get other countries to recognize the same rules and the same. Um, freedoms that we have in the United States. And so to do that, what he did was he said, hey, we will open up trade with you again and we will help work with your businesses and do all these things. And in return, you will have to abide by the same human rights laws that um, the United States would like to see you govern. And so this helped kind of restore those human rights in Vietnam. And it also restored their economy um, and helped them a lot. And if you look at Vietnam now, you'll notice that since uh, we restored relations with them. They have grown quite a bit economically in uh, in the world. And that's the end. So you can do your quiz now.